Hi folks, I'm James and welcome back to the Hobby Corner. Today we're starting the painting stage of the Adeptus Titanicus Reva Titans. To start with, I've primed the bodies with Chaos Black and then sprayed them with Lead Belcher. It's a quick and easy way to do it and if the Lead Belcher doesn't cover everything then it's not really an issue. You can see up underneath the body the Lead Belcher hasn't quite got there but it's not really a problem because nobody's really going to notice. The next stage is to apply a wash over everything to give it an oily look. So I'm getting some Nuln oil and using a medium shade brush to apply it. I'm not loading up too much on the brush as I want to be able to control the wash but otherwise I'm slapping it on and working it into all the recesses to get good coverage. Once that wash has been applied to both Titans and is all dry, it's time for a bit of highlighting to bring a bit of shine back to the metal. For this, I'm using Necron Compound and a medium dry brush. As Necron Compound is a quote unquote dry paint, it can be used straight out of the pot. I'm just dabbing the brush into it and then working it into the bristles on a piece of kitchen roll. Then I'm just going to brush lightly back and forth over the model. I'm not looking for heavy coverage, just enough to give the metal areas a bit of a shine again. Now that's all done, I'm going to apply some Brass Scorpion to a few areas on the Traitor Reaver. This is based on some of the artwork, and I think it helps to break up the metal colours a bit. I've got a Citadel Starter Brush, which I use for all my metallics. It's very hard wearing, although it's starting to hook at the tip after a few years of use. I find that synthetic brushes are useful for metallic paints, as the metal flecks present in the paint don't wear out the brush as quickly. This is more of a personal choice, so don't worry if you're using a different brush. I'm just taking a bit of the brass scorpion, thinning it down with some water, and then applying it to areas like the hips, maybe the eagles on the backs of the shins, and a few other areas. With that all done and dried, it's time to shade everything again. To give the body a more greasy, oily look, I'm going to use some Agrax Earthshade applied with a medium shade brush. Again, I'm not overloading the brush, I'm just putting enough on to give a good coverage across most of the model. And this is going on all of the brass, all of the silver, pretty much everywhere. Now that's all dry. I can do a second round of dry brushing with some more Necron compound, using the same method as before, getting some paint on the brush, then working it into the bristles using some kitchen roll. I only want to do a light dry brush this time, as I don't want to lose the brass colour, and I just want to pick out the edges. Once that's all finished, it's time to move on to some detailing. There's not too much I want to add to these reavers, as they're primarily gaming pieces, and I'm looking to get them done quite quickly. The main thing I'm going to paint is the cabling between the legs and on the head. For this I'm using some Abaddon Black, applied with a small base brush. Again, I'm putting some paint on the palette and thinning it down a bit with some water. There's loads of good tutorials out there for thinning paint. Brush stroke painting guides is a very good one. See the link in the description. With the Abaddon Black applied, it's time to do a quick highlight just to give it a bit more definition. For this, I'm using Dawnstone, and I'm applying it with an old, small base brush, which has seen better days. But this is a very quick highlight, and follows the same process we used for the Necron Compound. Dawnstone is a layer paint, so it's much thinner and more watery than Necron Compound, so I'm going to take care not to overload my brush. I only want a tiny amount on there. I'm not worried if I get any on the metallic areas, nobody will notice when these are on the table. And with that, the bodies are finished. I'll be doing all the armour plating on the head, carapace and toes as part of the armour painting videos. Thanks everyone for watching, and join me next time for more hobby.